Every week I get asked two things. Why don't you have an Australian accent? And where should I put my amp simulator in my signal chain? First question, I'm not Australian. Second question, where should you put your amp simulator in your signal chain? It completely depends on what you want to achieve. First, we're gonna show you some audio examples. We're gonna go guitar straight into the computer so you have a control of what that sounds like. Then we will add in a Strymon Iridium and then from here on out, the settings will not change. What happens though, if you go Iridium into an overdrive into your computer? That will be the last audio example before we get into the next part of the video. So guitar straight into your computer sounds just like that. No effects on it, doesn't really sound like an electric. After that, we added the Iridium and it sounds incredible. The Iridium is an amp simulator uh, for those of you that are not aware. And then after that, we added an overdrive after the Iridium and it didn't really sound all that usable. I challenge one of you to find a use for that sound and put it into a song. From here on out, we're not gonna put overdrives after the Iridium anymore. We're gonna move on to Iridium in the middle of the chain and the end of the chain and listen to some audio examples. So quickly, this is what it sounds like to have your guitar, your overdrive, and then your amp simulator going straight into your interface. Much better. Now that's actually usable, having the overdrive first and then the Iridium. We're gonna do some examples now going back and forth, adding in some wet effects to show you the difference between Iridium in the middle of your chain, between overdrive and wet effects, and then doing overdrives, wet effects, Iridium into the computer. Here we go, let's see which one you like better. Before you make up your mind, let's listen to the Iridium in the middle of the chain again, moving to the end of the chain on the bridge pickup, and we'll see what tonal differences we can hear. I'm curious what differences you actually have heard there. They're subtle, no doubt, but to my ears, I hear a little bit more bottom end when you put the Iridium in the middle of the signal chain, sandwiched between overdrives or dry effects and the wet effects. What one do you like better though? This is totally up to you. There are some upsides to both options that you also need to think about before making a decision. If you put Iridium or your amp simulator at the end of your signal chain, the headphone jack will be more available to you. You will also be able to use any balance outs if your amp simulator has them and be able to go directly to front of house. Since amp simulators tend to run a hotter signal on their outputs, the other thing to consider is that they may also clip your wet effects if you run it in the middle if they can't handle hotter signals. Even while filming this video, I was running the Iridium into a Boss Dimension C, just a little standalone chorus pedal, and I had to really make sure that the master volume on the Iridium wasn't too high, or else it would clip right around the halfway point. So you need to think about quite a bit. One of the other perks to having the amp simulator in the middle of your chain is if you wanna run a dry output, you can actually do it with the amp simulator as well. There's a lot to think about, there's a lot to weigh up, but I still have one more thing for you to consider. Should you use a preamp before your amp simulator or should you just go overdrives straight into your amp simulator or wet effects straight into your amp simulator and forego the preamp entirely? Let's take a listen and see which one we like better.
So before we make up our minds on preamp or no preamp, there is a bit of a thought pattern or theory behind running a preamp into an amp simulator. There is onboard EQ, there are uh, controls on the amp simulator that help you dial in your sound, but in just the same way that you get a great sound out of your amplifier by plugging your guitar into it, as soon as you put new effects in front of that amp, the tonality will change. And so this preamp will actually smooth out the sounds going into the inputs and give that amp simulator something consistent to work with as you're changing the parameters in front of it. So even if you run your amp simulator at the end of your chain, put a preamp in the middle if you decide to go that route, or if you run your amp simulator in the middle of your chain, put the preamp right before it so they're paired together. There's a lot to consider here with amp simulators and as they become more popular and widespread from different companies releasing their takes on them, they will only get better. But still, you need to consider where do I want it in my signal chain and what will work best for your rig. As always, put your comments and questions below and we will get back to you as soon as possible.